So many times that I've said maybe. So many times that I've said no. So many moments that I let sleep away. But now I give my yes to you. Yes to you. I want to love you. Yes to you. Yes today. Yes to you. I want to save you. Yes to you. Yes today. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I choose you, Jesus. I worship Jesus. I honor Jesus. I choose you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Above my life, above my all. I love you, my Lord. I love you, Savior. I love you, my Prince. I love you, my King. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Papa. I give you my all. I give you my life. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you this morning. But I thank you for my life. I thank you for choosing me, Papa, and for filling me up with courage, even when it seems like there's such a mighty army on the other side. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for everything, Papa. I give you all the glory, Papa. I worship you without fear, Papa. I come before you, Yahweh. I stand at your feet. I break my alabaster box before you. Papa, continue to take me and use me. Broke me, melt me, fill me, mold me. Do it all, Papa. Just as you please. You are Yahweh. You are the Alpha and Omega. If you are with me, Papa, who can be against? Speak it to yourself, children of God. Even you who are out there in the world, the world can offer you no guarantee. Maybe for a season, maybe for a minute, maybe for a night, maybe for a day. But no, there's so many strings attached and it costs us so much. But we got this complete assurance. Those of us on his side might seem to tremble. But it's out of reverence for him and in awe of what he's doing and how he delivers and how he sets us. He, he, plays, he lays a table before us in the presence of our enemies and how he sends us on, on assignments that the main man cannot even fathom. And we go and we fear not. He gives us that kind of courage. The kind he gave Moses, the kind he gave Joshua, the kind he gave Gideon. 
the kind he gave Deborah. The kind he gave Samson, maybe when his eyes were plucked out. Father, I thank you for this morning. Yes, the hour is rife. For me, it's the eve of my, my next chapter, Papa. And I understand. I understand what I'm shedding, Papa. And I do it without fear. Thank you for the message this morning, Papa. I pray not only for myself, I pray for all the people who follow this ministry on any platform and who look to reconnect and connect with you, to connect and reconnect in a very special way. We have to bury the oath, and that's the symbol of black. We have to bury it. We have to cast it aside. We have to let it go. And even if it's red and in the horizon and, and it seems like there's danger and there's fire burning, we don't have to fear. Who was Moses to stand before Pharaoh? But you made it happen. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, continue to breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Always on breathe out. In Jesus' name, I pray to you this morning, Papa. I love you, Jesus. I love you so much. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you. I am grateful, Jesus. I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, tribe. Sometimes the message is solemn. Sometimes uh, the, the atmosphere has to reflect that. Sometimes the instructions are firm. And when you put your hand on the plow, you know what it means. And so you don't look back. Because you know where you're coming from. You don't want to go back there. So you do everything to stay there, put your hand on the plow where you put your hand on the plow, or to go forward. And in my secondary school, there was the motto, forward ever, backward never. I didn't know that that really is from the Bible and that that should guide any servant of God and any child of God, actually. And you should pray for that courage, right? Not to fear, because he didn't give us a spirit of fear. And he's there. He, he never leave nor forsake us. So what are we afraid of? And even when moments come where we feel like trembling or where we are taken aback, the name Jesus. Let me tell you, one that was sleeping in my former house and somebody showed up in front of me and they said, shift, I want to lie down with you. And I screamed, Jesus! And they left that was a, a very difficult season for me. And my picture shows that. And sometimes people don't understand where I'm coming from. But I, I do. And so I, I, I serve my God. I worship him without fear. I do what he says I should do. I take off the hair. I take off everything. I give away everything. I move to my mother's house. I stay in one room. I do all of this. Because I know. I know the God I serve. I know the God I worship. I know the choice I have made. I know what I have left. Moses could not look back. It had cost him too much to be where he was. So no matter how stubborn Pharaoh was, he knew the God who was with him. And that's what we are looking at this morning. January 17, a man without fear. A man without fear worships his God who delivers him because there is this assurance. Moses was trembling when he had this encounter with God in the burning bush. And so he kept looking for assurances and reassurances. He came up with all kinds of excuses. Papa, I'm a stammerer. Papa, I'm this. Papa, I'm one skilled an Egyptian. Papa, I'm too old. I'm 80 years old. Papa, oh, papa, 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 papa. But the Lord said to him, 
Certainly I will be with you. Exodus chapter 3 verse 12. Certainly I will be with you. And this is the sign that you know, you will know that I sent you. When you will have delivered the Egyptians, the, the Israelites out of Egypt, you will come and worship me on this mountain, on this very mountain. And it came to pass. Certainly the Lord is with me, Mark. Certainly he is with me. I fear not. No, not, not at all. What can man do to me? What can man do to me? Who? I stand here, I talk. I can stand anywhere and talk. And if I'm, I'm not invited anywhere to talk, I talk right there. I have no problem with that. Of course, if the Lord sent Moses on an errand, he will not let him go alone. The tremendous weeks involved and the great power required would make it ridiculous for God to send a poor, lone Hebrew to confront the mightiest king in all the world and then leave him to himself. It could not be imagined that a wise God will match poor Moses against Pharaoh and the enormous forces of Egypt, enormous to the point where he had to take nine plagues to get Pharaoh to let the, 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 the people go. And even after he let them go, he still had a change of mind. That's how stubborn and hardened of heart he was. And he chased after them with all his enormous army. And then the Lord did it. Oh my goodness. God. When I think of the goodness of the Lord and all he has done, not only for me, but for, for, the, for, the, for his people, right from the Old Testament, everywhere, this is Exodus, we are saying it. A God of compassion, a God who did not just cast Adam and Eve out and never care about them again. A God who made that promise to Noah, now I'm not going to do this ever again. Therefore, God says, certainly I will be with you. As if it went out of the question that he would send him alone. Uh, he, God is with me. I might be warned, but God who is in me is greater than everything that is out there. You care you claim me, you care you don't claim. But I know. And I stand here because God says I should. And no human being can tell me to stop. Only God. Charles Pondion says it. In my case also, the same rule will hold true. What about you? What's happening in you, in your life? If I go upon the Lord's errand with a simple reliance upon his power and a single eye to his glory... It is certain that he will be with me. His sending me commits him to back me up. Yeah. The God will God will back up what he commands. And he orders my steps. I lean not on my own understanding. That is my, my, my personal special memory verse. Someone told me yesterday his memory verse was the verse to Joshua, right? I, I, no, not be bold and courageous, but I've not given you a spirit of fear. That was his verse. You know, God gives, reveals himself to us in different ways and he gives us, seek him and you will find him. Knock! Are you knocking? Stop knocking at the man of God's door. Knock at God's door now. Knee down right there in your sacred place. In your room. Seek him. Seek him. Is this not enough? What more could I want? If all the angels and the archangels were with me, I might fail. But if God is with me, I must succeed. It's a must. And you know what the world considers success is not what God considers success. I'm a success. I have no car packed out there. I haven't built any house, but I am a success. Many who go through what I go through, who went through what I went through, are in some ghetto somewhere. In the, in the graveyard somewhere and all of those things so to be here and to be serving God this way 
This is success. So I honor God with that. I might not show no fancy party for my birthday. I don't want no food. I don't want no clothes. I don't want no nothing. I just want to say thank you, Father. I just want to say thank you, Father. I just want to do this big, big thanksgiving. I want to offer. And God has already done that. So whether anybody sows anymore, nobody or whatever, nothing. I don't, I don't hold nothing in my heart against anybody. Because God has shown me. I mean, even people, mostly people living there, I didn't even know that they could sow like that they had. Right up to my children. So isn't that success? Because I surrender it all to God. And I just walked in obedience. Even when he told me, when it was day nine, he said, put it on your various family forums. And I was like, Papa, me, I only obey me, you. But you know, me, like that, uh, 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 people shut their mouths there, oh. So, Papa, I beg you, let nobody come after me. Oh. And so I just wrote and I put it there. And nobody came after me. Everybody was, well, most of the people who commented were like, clap for you, you know. And some people silently, background and stuff in, in all of them. So, I mean, it's best to obey God. Ah, several times in my life, I've tried to be stubborn and dilly-dally. I'm actually praying for that. That is one of my prayer points for this year. That if he says go, I just like, to wait, how far? Leave. Not like, hey, Papa, wait, let me see. Do I have sports shoes and this and that? Because by the time you want to set out, yeah, it's not more with you. So what are you going to do? You know, like that uh, uh, bridegroom in the Bible, Revelation, waiting for her lover. And when he comes and knocks the door, she's thinking, thinking, thinking. By the time she wants to go and open the door, gone. Okay. Only let me be certain to act worthily towards this promise. I must not go timidly, half-heartedly, carelessly, or presumptuously. What manner of person should he be who has God with him? In such company, it is my duty to be courageous and like Moses, go in unto Pharaoh without fear. Tell him to let my people go. And when he lets us go, we will worship God on that mountain. The word of the Lord. Our devotion for today. Yes. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to God. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to God. My hallelujah belongs to you. I don't know who your hallelujah belongs to. I don't know what you are seeking. I don't know where you go to get your own courage from. You know, me, in my badness, in my black, in my serene and uh, <laughs> okay you are Yahweh you are Yahweh you are You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful, Jesus. For your goodness, Jesus. For your kindness, Jesus. For your love, Jesus. 
I am grateful. I am thankful. I worship you, Father. I honor you, Father. I give my yes wholeheartedly to you, Father. I pray for my children, Papa. In Jesus' name, I pray for them. Always in my heart. You give them to me, Papa. To bring them up in the way they should go. So that when they grow, they will not depart from this. Papa, you know, I'm doing my very best. And your grace is sufficient for me that I know. I pray for my family. Both biological and spiritual. I pray for my pastor. I pray for my bishop. I pray for them and their families. I pray for my friends, Papa. I pray that all of these people may continue to seek you and know you in a very intimate and special way. Papa, I pray for all those out there in the world who are still dilly darling and hitting their heads and trying to figure things out on their own and chase whatever they're chasing and follow whoever they're following and, and indulging in whatever they're indulging, Father. Dare I say, they do not know what they're doing, Papa. You who gives that knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you will shake things up. You will meet people. You, Jesus, you who met Saul on his way to Damascus. You, Jesus, who has met me time and again in my most desperate hours when I cried, I said, Jesus, Father, give me a sign and you give me a sign, Papa. Meet them, Papa. Give them signs, Papa. Shake them up. And then start to do it, Papa. As their minds are being renewed, transform their lives. So that without fear, they might worship you. And they might be bold enough to stand before Pharaoh and say, let my people go. And say, I decree and I declare. And say, Jesus. And say, blood of Jesus. I fear no evil. Who are you? Who are you? Small demon who tried to scare me last night who are you in the mighty name of Jesus I have a mother who prays she taught me to pray at all hours and now Jesus himself and the Holy Spirit himself teaches me and I sit at his feet and he leads me to powerful women of God. Powerful messages online. And all of that. And he reveals himself to me. Papa, do it for others too. Now do it for others, Papa. Do it for others. Who we'll seek you? Who we'll seek you earnestly? People of God, seek him earnestly. Seek him and you will find him. Knock. Knock, 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 knock. He himself also stands at the door. So as you knock and as you open, you will meet him right there. Write it down. Say it loud. Cry it out. You will get the answer. Pay attention. Be attentive. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. It's in your mighty name that I pray. Amen. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, tribe. Yeah, Solemn. But it's full of hope. So, this is it. It's a big part of me that is it's being buried. And I'm very, very, very expectant. And I'm giving my yes. This time around, on the shaky yes of 2020. That yes, that needs no human validation or approbation or ordination and all of these things 
comes, comes. It doesn't come, doesn't come. Me, I'm good. Me and Jesus. Okay, have a terrific, thoughtful Tuesday. Thoughtful, especially, right? And um, see you tomorrow morning by grace. Same time, 4 a.m. GMT. And in the evenings, I do evening devotion on TikTok, but I also share it here on my different platforms, the different ministry platforms. And um, this message by my bishop, Endurance Inspired by Hope, that should have been the last Bible teaching she did last year. Um, I'm hoping she resumes. Actually, she's going to resume today. I'm going to be talking about that later. Yeah, um, online evangelism. So I'm excited to, um, to, to be part of the first one today. Um, by grace, uh, 10 a.m. GMT, right? 10 a.m. Ghana time. So I'm going to put that up. And then, um, so if you follow um, Church Without Words Evangelistic Association on Facebook, I'm a member, right? You are going to, you are going to follow. You, the, the, the word of God has been so, um, you know, messed up, tossed around, and turned upside down. God is just something else people present him to be. So it's really good to, have these um, personal encounters with him, seek him for yourself, study, steep yourself in the world, stay there and all of that. Okay, God bless us all.